Welcome to Hinkley Point C. Today we have around 7,500 people working here at the site. Recent events have really brought into focus the importance of this project from an energy sovereignty, security and sustainability point of view and also the important part it plays in net zero by 2050. Today we're going to show you the great progress we've made. Follow me. From this position we get a great vista of Unit 1 especially the Nuclear Island Reactor Building behind me. You can see we've made great progress, we've now grown to 34 metres. And you can also see the big equipment hatch which will introduce the reactor pressure vessel and steam generators through. We have one more smaller ring now to fit, and then we move on to actually fitting the dome which is behind me here on the left hand side, which is actually completed. Let's go inside the reactor building. Welcome to Unit 1's reactor building. So you can see the great progress we've made since the, the last time we've done a virtual tour. Over 2022 we'll start to build the walls here, the radial walls are up to around 19 and a half metres which is pretty much at the top of where this line of ring currently sits. And I'll stand right in the area where the reactor pressure vessel will go. That reactor pressure vessel is due to leave the factory at the end of 2022 and will actually be fitted here through the equipment hatch in the second half of 2023. You also see we've introduced some large columns here and look to get this level up to around 19 and a half metres by the end of 2022. These columns themselves weigh around 200 tonnes, so fantastic piece of engineering. As well as completing the important construction activities, we have to think about the future and training our operators. Let me take you to our simulator building here where them operators will be taken through the important training activities they need to operate this huge plant. So we've popped into our fantastic state-of-the-art operational training centre and we're here in the gold full scope simulator where our operators can really hone their skills. An operator takes around two years to complete their training in both normal operation and fault scenarios. The operators themselves will be actually tested and assessed in this building so they're on top of their game before we allow them to operate this huge piece of UK infrastructure. So welcome to the electrical building. This will be the beating heart of the electrical system for Hinkley Point C. You can see we're making good progress in, in installation of all the containment, which will carry all the cables, and actually the heated and ventilation systems behind me. The plan this year is to really gain momentum with mechanical, electrical and HVAC installation. We plan to hand over 300 rooms and start working 280 of them rooms. As you can see, our teams behind us are starting to make really good progress in installing the equipment and they'll be joined by lots of colleagues over the next six months. Welcome to Hinkley Point C Unit 1 Turbine Hall. Great progress since our last plant tour. We've actually built the external walls as you can see up to the level 2, the staircases are going up and we've actually put a 2,500 cube concrete pour on the top of the blue columns that we see last time. That will eventually house the biggest turbine in the world. The next key steps in this area are to complete the concrete walls to actually build the staircases and then the really important piece really for us is to build this structural steelwork. So about 64 sequences of steelwork that need to go in. On top of that we'll place a concrete slab and then we'll build the steelwork up to house a 300 ton crane. We'll clad the building and that then will allow our General Electric colleagues to come in and actually start assembling the turbine unit itself. So we're now at the opposite end of the site to where we started. Behind me you get a really good view of the reactor building the turbine hall and where we are now in the heat sink. The heat sink itself started as a 30 metre hole. As you can see the structures are pretty much up now to ground level and these will house the big drum screens that will filter out all the debris from the sea that allow the CRF pumps to pump the, the water into the turbine hall. So fantastic progress here. We expect this building to be above ground level by the end of 2022. We're also starting to build the volutes, which are the big pumps casings, which is a really intricate uh, civil structure. In front of me, all the work in the marine area, we've actually completed all of our tunnelling. So we've got two tunnels now that are three and a half kilometres out to sea, one that's just over 2.8. And this year's a really exciting year for us because we actually start to land the big intake and outlet heads, which the largest of which is 5,000 tonnes. So really big marine campaign this year, really exciting work over the summer months. That concludes our virtual tour for today. Obviously we've not been able to cover all the areas that are going on here at Hinkley Point. 
We're making really good progress in our grid substation where the 400,000 volt lines have been installed into the site. Transformers are being fitted. On Unit 2, there's also great progress. And we're also seeing between 20 and 30% efficiencies in the construction activities, which is vital to follow on new, to the new build projects, including size we'll see. I hope you enjoyed the tour and I look forward to seeing you next time.